Lego Minecraft 2024 summer sets have been revealed, so let's look at the top three best things in this wave. So at spot number three, we have the new and improved husk. Yes, I did put this above the camel. I just really like how they're actually deciding to revisit old Lego minifigures and making them better. And this one is no exception for making it better because this has so much detail. The torso is so much more detailed than the original form back in the Creeper Mine. And also it really fits with the new textures that have come to Minecraft since the Creeper Mine came out. The whole headpiece looks really nice, and just the amount of detail that they've given it is really cool. Only thing I do have to say about this is that it could have done with some leg printing. But the set overall that it comes in, being the Badlands Mineshaft, looks awesome. It's got so many new minifigures and so much cool things to see, just like every other thing in this whole wave. And this is really good for the future of LEGO Minecraft, showing that they're revisiting things that they didn't quite get right the first time, and trying to make them better. And with this set here, we can see that they really did pay attention to little things in Minecraft that just weren't the same after the update, such as the husk texture. Let's hope that they do this with other old minifigures to fix them in the future, a bit like they did with the witch last year. Okay, in spot number two, we have the sniffer. I actually did get a comment saying that I got it wrong. I'm really sorry, guys. The yellow thing is actually the nose. The eyes for the sniffer are on the side of the head, which is a bit odd. I didn't realise that. Silly me, I guess. But still, this is a really nice minifigure. The fact that you can make the nose go up and down is really cool. And just the overall how this minifigure looks, they didn't rush it too badly like they did with the Hoglin. It actually looks quite nice. And the set it comes in is also really good. It's got lots of different details in and stuff, such as pottery, which is really nice to see because we hadn't seen that before. And the fact that it's all printed is a really nice touch and something that LEGO Minecraft always does pretty well. I've never seen a sticker in a LEGO Minecraft set, which is not a bad thing. And finally, in spot number one, we have the Ender Dragon. Now, of course, we have had two other iterations of this minifigure, but this is by far one of the best. It's definitely the best one for a headpiece because it's got a full molded face, which is really good and really shows how LEGO Minecraft is progressing and making itself better with the years as they go by. When you look to 2014, it had fully brick build head, but it looks a bit odd. And then 2020, it's just, we don't talk about that. And now 2024, we have a full molded headpiece, which just looks amazing. And it is also wearable. So it's even more accurate to the game when it comes to how you can actually wear the Ender Dragon head if you're in creative mode or you took it off of the front of the end ship. And speaking of the set it comes in, the end ship is an absolutely immaculate set. It has so much in it and it just looks really nice. They actually didn't rush it this time. The end actually is starting to get some recognition with the end battle in 2023. And now we get an end ship in 2024. This is quite exciting since this dimension is really underappreciated when it comes to the Lego Minecraft theme as it just doesn't have as much in as some of the other dimensions. So those are the top three best things in the LEGO Minecraft 2024 Summer Wave. Really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There's another video down there. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye.